Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about um, the magic they use that creates such a havoc in your life. And I'm going to show you how to deal with it. Okay? Um, snakes are known to be a spiritual uh, animal. Could also... Um, they could be very deceptive kind of animal and they can also bring dark energy because we are serpent beings so kundalini is a serpent you know and um and if you see the gods of egypt the two serpent that they went after uh raw and uh the goddess of love or whatnot in the movie um remember when she looked at the one of the snake and she enchanted it and she says oh you are a beautiful animal kill yourself and this snake burned itself you know so because they know this they know these snakes can come into your energy field through your spine through your 33 vertebrae you know jacob ladder and they can wreak havoc, you know? And they also use, um, they use, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, terraformer. Terraformer is an entity. It's not like God, but it's an entity that terraforms your energy. Like it's, what, what we, you know, where you think the movie Transformer came from. It's, uh, actually, terraformer is it create a lot of damage in your energetic field because it terraform, it changes your energy field. You understand? Um, so that's what the enemy uses because they last night I woke up in the middle of the night, I felt I was being attacked by a snake, and it woke me out of my sleep. It's like it was wrapped on my right leg and I looked at it, it was black snake. And it was like, it was agitated. You know why? Because I did a prayer, how to destroy a snake. You understand? Because I use snakes. Also, witches and wizards and warlock, they could actually, uh, they could use their, is their kundalini serpent basically you could be living in the same apartment building as someone who 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 are capable of sending off their kundalini serpent basically that serpent when you sleep they could actually leave their body and come into your body and attack you you understand if you've seen also the golden compass you know, Lyra, when she was talking to Nicole Kidman in that movie, because, um, you know, they're um, demon, they call them demon, but basically, you, you're, these demon are uh, an entity embedded in everybody, you know? And a shape shifts, a shape shifts to different animals until you reach puberty and then whatever animal you st is the last that is it was transferred uh, from or to it stays you understand because lyra she had this like um um what was it uh it's like a some sort of like a mink it's a mink but i don't know what's it called the animal what is it called but anyhow and it changes. Remember when Lyra animal can turn to a bird, it can turn to anything because she's have not reached puberty yet. And Nicole Kidman, she have the monkey. Monkey is the most deceptive spirit uh, or it's actually a serpent is that shape shifts. You understand? Her is a monkey. Monkeys are very it's not they're very deceptive animal you understand they're always up to no good you know and when 
Lyra saw the Nicole Kidman's demon, what they call them demons in that movie, um, leave because they're usually so close. They are so close to their the owner of the person, like the uh, the owner of the person is like the owner who owns that uh, demon. They don't really stray far away because you could hurt yourself because when this thing happened and you attack this spirit their spirit or the serpent that is actually wandering off you can hurt the person yeah the person who owns that serpent you understand anyhow that's what the movie is telling you but watch uh, the golden compass you understand what I'm trying it's hard for me to explain it but anyhow watch it and if you have any question about any scene just write me um, a comment in the comment section and I'll tell you what it means okay and um, the um, gods of Egypt the two serpents that went after Ra and the goddess of uh, love these are the two serpents because the one is black and one white one the both female serpents and these serpents are actually they are the one uh, responsible for the sun they're basically one presenting the sun and the other one is the moon you understand anyhow how you destroy these serpents that okay I explained to you about energy work when a witch and a wizard or warlock wander off coming to energy field they are breaking god's law you have to first cancel all permission contract given past future and present in every single dimension in every single direction you understand now you create a prayer by calling archangels michael gabriel uriel and all the archangels governing the universe that under uh, the source of all creation command because there is archangels no there is angels are they're not under you know they're doing their own thing they you know what i mean they uh, they can harm you and stuff don't call those because they are fallen angels okay you ask them to destroy any ter- terraformer in your energy field connected to you through cording, through embodiment of auric field, through any aspect, right? And also, you call, you know, archangels and his legion of archangels to, to attack all serpents that do not all serpents that does not belong to you in your energy field in a physical body astral body in every single dimension every single direction okay to slice to raise the archangel sword of light the sword of spirit okay sword of spirit to cut the serpents the most tender part of the serpent is is um, the belly because you know serpents are protective very protective on your their belly you understand that why they stand on their head and if you come near them they'll try to bite you because they're trying to protect and they like they they like they um, they make themselves like they um, coil themselves into a ball because they're protecting that part you understand so you sending archangels to cut their belly to attack them in the eyes and to send all energy of god and all light energy through the serpent mouth inside into their belly you understand and to cut and to wreak havoc on them you understand and uh, to destroy all um, uh, terraformers or a- all demon entities that were given were granted permission during your sleep, waking life, and stuff. 
So just be creative about that, and then you ask the source of all creation. You have to say the source of all creation are I or one, um, you know, Allah or I or one, um, uh, um, what do you call it? Um, all the aspect of God, all names given to man, not known to man, of of the source of all creation, or Allah, and and the one, the source, the hidden one. But every name known to man and not known to man, the sacred name that is hidden from the masses, only known to the source of all creation. I activate that name. In embedded within my um, pineal gland, embedded within my um, rib cage, okay? Because you have a sacred name of the source of all creation, like the Ra, that is embedded within your rib cage. You understand? And to ignite your divinity, to ignite your power within and to destroy all serpent, to destroy all terraformer, to destroy anything that is wreaking havoc in your life, to cut and to destroy. You know what? Because when you cut cording, you are disconnecting from that. Do not cut the cord. Destroy. Just say destroy whoever attached to me. Because that how you hurt a witch. You understand? Do not cut the cord. Don't cut the cord, okay? Destroy anything or anyone attached to you through it energetically. You know what I'm saying? That's how you call a bitch a bitch, okay? Excuse my French. This is how you deal with it, okay? So pray and uh, support those who are, uh, who are target individuals who are dealing with the same thing. But they use serpents Serpents are could cause okay. Serpents are a cause of diseases. You know that, right? You know they're famine. They bring diseases. They bring sickness and stuff like that. Do not cut the cord. Destroy. You know what I mean we are the warrior of light. Activate your divinity. Activate your power. You are one with God. Just remember that. Do not let anybody treat you otherwise, you know what I'm saying? Especially someone who's less than you, okay? You are honored by the source of all creation. You are of God. You, you are a part of the source of all creation. He honors you. That's why you're being attacked. They don't like that. When God puts you above them, they don't like that. They hate that. They would love you only if you say, I want to join you. You understand? If you say, I want to join you, they're like, all this attack will stop. They'll be your friend. Let's hold your hands. Let's help you cross the street. You know, treating you like a senior, you know, on a wheelchair, whatever. I don't want you to hold my hands. I don't want you, you know, help me cut the, you know, cross the street, you know. And I'm just going to defend myself. Honestly, of all honestly, I'm just going to be this very honest and precise to the point. If God have not forbidden witchcraft, honestly, I'll bring darkness into this world, you know. But God forbidden, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do anything to harm humans, any human being. You understand? But if you are wicked and you curse people, and you do magic on people, I'm going to fight you till the day, you know, uh, till the end of day, okay? I'm going to defend myself. And God, if God want weaponize me, anybody who enchanted my name, who called my name in, in, in to cause me havoc and to cause me, you know, anything of negative aspect, I'm going to come and cut your tongue. Next time you want to be able to pronounce my name, cows, you know. So, do not fear your animal. You mean your animal? <laughs> they are the animals. Sorry, sorry, guys. Do not fear fear your enemy. Your enemy not to be feared. Fear God. God is the source. God is the merciful. God is. 
the one god is my superhero god who is my superhero that never loses a war you understand god is amazing god is anything i can never even there's no no words in the world can describe god you understand and these people think god god is dead they've been telling people lying to people on youtube telling them god is dead um or they tell god is a woman god is a man whatever you know why would the sex of a god of the source the creator has to do with anything with the being we're talking about why every human being you have to put a label on something in order for you to um belittle or give it no respect you understand See, we, we're always and as humans so always we always trying to put a label on something you know what i mean to so kind of undermine you know the source of our creation by giving them a, you know a label does it really matter god is a man or woman to me it doesn't really because god, because it's god you understand why we always have to you know what's the problem with this world is labeling everything is has to go with a label but that's not a creation of, this is not a creation of god this is creation of these people governing the world you understand this is their prerogative their problems is not mine okay i'm not going to refer to god as a man or woman you know he's neutral he's embodiment of light he is everything holy he is um uh, above all you know he manifests everything to existence he's no one like god okay god is complete do not need us we need him man or woman it does not matter okay they've been waging a war on god for a long time you have to understand this. We were waging war on God for a long time. But if I, I have to choose what side I have to go with. Would I go with someone who's gonna die, or I'm gonna go to a source who never gonna um, immortal, who never die, and stuff like that, who who is always will be, never was, okay, always will be. You understand? And this kind of talk, the talk I'm talking to you now about, it pissed them off because they want me not to believe in God. How could you believe in someone you never seen? How would you believe in someone who, you know, you know, may not exist? You know what? Let me believe what I want to believe. God giving me a choice to choose what I want to believe, right? Why atheists allowed to exist? right their choice is their prerogative if they choose not to believe in god ever existed or we are self-created and all of that crap hey this is your choice i'm not i'm not god to condemn people for making a choice it's a wrong one but hey if i try to explain to these people god is actually exist they will come swinging at you because they do not really want to hear it they want to hear the same narrative that in their head it's like they live in a bubble they don't want anybody to come and pop that bubble by telling them god exists you know i can prove god of existence many ways it's so easy to prove god existence okay and everybody allowed to choose what path they want to follow you want to believe in god doesn't exist it's up to you but do not drag me in your nonsense trying to convince me god doesn't you know, i allowed you to be who you are to to believe in fairy tales things are does not make sense you understand even the enemy know god exists what makes these atheist people think god doesn't exist why okay when the enemy is waging war on god what would you wear a wedge of war on, on someone who doesn't exist 
Make sense to you? You see, I can prove to you God exists because the enemy is waging war on someone who doesn't exist. Make a perfect sense, okay? But anyhow, enough said. This is how you destroy your enemy. Snakes, terraformers, anything that messes with your energy field, cut with the sword of spirits of Mark, Mark, uh, Mark Michael, okay? You can call all the archangels to aid you in this war on God because God will be my God stays your God if you want your God doesn't you don't want him to be you know present or exist you know what I'm saying it's your your belief you go ahead my God stays nobody nobody gonna come and breeze down my neck telling me God doesn't exist okay but it's pulling your mouth and shut the what up okay do not come here and try telling me, sell me this BS bogus idea of something does not, you know, I know exist. I have not seen God, but I have felt God. God is all around us. God is, in, is around us in every moment, every second. You know, God says, um, I'm closer to you than Habl al Warid. You know, the artery vein in your body. He says, I'm closer to you than that. You understand? Think of God, uh, of everything good when pertaining to God, into pertaining to his existence, to pertaining to his holiness. Okay? His... Um, um, creation with us within our DNA when all of that that's not a proof to you God exists why because it, you do not need you know your brain fire neurons over a billion per second and we are made of seven oh I don't know how many billions but they say 70 billion I can't I don't know I can't remember but anyhow cells that create a human beings and we create Yet they tell people that we're created a slave race. Would you make someone or create something like a human being that far intelligent that these people are telling you and telling you they're meant to be a slave race? Why create so, something so advanced to slave, to go pick gold or whatever, dig for gold and all of that? Do you believe that story? Because they, you know, if you believe that story, then their opinion of you makes perfect sense. You are stupid to think, you know, you are created to as a slave race and stuff like that. You know, why do you think these people are hurting you? Because God honor you. You know, when Adam, when God says to, you know, uh, Satan, you know, bow for my creation, you know. Um, Adam and when Satan refused and, and stuff like that you created him from mud my meaning like you know you created from soil and you created me for fire who's better I could never kneel to such a thing you know that what the war between God and Satan became about because he honored Adam. We are, who are we? We are the creation. We came through Adam bloodline. Adam and Eve. Eve is really uh, the creation of the moon goddess, Selene. Okay? Selene goes by many, many different names. Okay? So, a god. Well, you think of Adam and Eve. They're basically our um, royal bloodline. You know what I'm saying? That comes directly from the source of our creation. You understand? You understand why they've been doing all the things to hurt our DNA, to cause us harm, to cause, you know, to, to inflict pain on us? If you believe we are just regular bystander human beings believe that too i think you're greater than what they led you to believe but i'm telling you you are greater than that 
and do not believe the enemies. Spin of lies and fabrication, sneers and lies. Okay? Anyhow, um, sorry about the rant, but I just kind of want to explain to you the existence of God many ways than one. If you listen to, to me telling you this, I can go into debate with anyone who says, oh, I do not believe in God exists, and I can prove it to you five minutes, not even five minutes, one minute. You know what? 20 seconds. Okay? God exists. Okay? So do not open these topics with me. God doesn't exist anymore because I'm not listening. I'm not going to be disrespectful to call, to insult you. And stuff like I'm just going to say, uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to listen to your garbage. Go preach to somebody else who believe your nonsense because I'm, I'm not listening. You know what I mean? Don't waste your time, you know, and go preach to somebody who actually is going to fall for that crap. All right? Anyhow, I hope this helped. Sorry, I'm very random, but I just feel like it's um, something in my heart tell me I need to share with you what the enemy don't like to be, you know, they don't like us to talk about God. They want to, you know, hide. they have been hiding God. They've been like altering books, holy books and, and altering history and stuff to, in deception to hide then, you know, the creator from us. You understand? But you don't need to know the true name. You can say the hidden one. The one who existed pre-creation, the one who existed, um, who manifested everything into existence, created all creation, you know? The one. Then the universe knows who you're talking about. You understand? You understand? It's a vibration of intentions that you're setting and you're putting out. The universe automatically in queue with you, understand and align you with your highest, you know, utmost good. You know what I mean? It align you with everything that God intended for your life to be. Okay? And um, because the enemy, they're always condescending, trying to talk down to you, make you feel like you're stupid and blah, blah, because you allow it. You allow people to, you know, to treat you like stupid, you know what I mean? They bring people, you know, who are stupid, working for the stupid, you know, coming in your life and trying to do whatever, you know, you know, these people are a waste of oxygen. That's all I'm going to say. Do not allow this abuse to continue because you're allowing it, you're accepting the what the enemies are doing you're accepting that as uh, um, uh, the true narrative of the enemy don't be like useless eater like what they say and um, listen to their lies okay God will be God ever be, you know God is amazing God is complete you know god is exalted above all you know god is merciful god is holy god is just and justice is gonna come to these people whether they like it or not but hey these people are gonna know if god is really exist or he's like santa claus fake like santa claus Okay, Ruda, Fred, whatever, dear, they're all fake storylines. Santa Claus is not real, you know, but people put up a freaking tree and think it's a fat guy coming through this, you know, coming through the chimney to eat your cookies and leave you gifts. <sighs> you see, if they've been treating you for a long time as a stupid person, you know what I'm saying? You, you accept, you're accepting, you know, if you accept to be treated like that, hey, all the power goes with you. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not here to say anything about your bad choices. Okay? I'm just disappointed you allowed 
these people to treat you like a dumb bee, okay? Anyhow, that's all she's, you know, that's all I wanna say. And, and, um, and this is how you attack a serpent, okay? Terraformer, destroy these, you know, bees uh, to the core. Cut them, destroy them, eliminate their energetic havoc on your life. All right? Okay. Bye. Yeah, leave me a comment if you have any question about those movies I, I, I mentioned. And you want me to explain any part of the movie where they're talking about specific things. Because I can't th fit here. I think about every part. You know, I don't memorize movies. But anyhow, you could just say, okay, could you explain this? Explain that? And I can tell you what it means. Okay? They'll tell you things in movies. And people say, oh, it's just a movie. It's not really true. No, no, no. Part of it is, you know, they mix truths and lies. You understand? But I can tell you, I could uh, sift through the information. I can break a movie like just nobody can. Okay? And I can tell you what it means exactly. All right? I hope this helped, guys. And, um, yeah, leave me a comment in the comment section. And, uh, yeah. Thanks. Bye.